Overlight, it's Gordon at Overlight, and I'm going to take you through the basics of how to build a set list inside Titan on your console. On this show file I have here, I've got three pages that I have labelled that have got various different looks and effects that I want to use during my show. I've named these pages by tapping Set Legend on Soft Key C and then tapping this space here. You can see now on my Soft Key A, I can enter what name I would like. Set lists are a nice way of being able to move and manipulate pages a lot quicker than you could conventionally. Soft key F opens my workspace window. And in this menu, there is one called set list. As soon as you start up a set list, it's going to look completely blank like this. On the top right hand side of this console screen, I've got a little picture of a list and a plus symbol. If I tap that, I'll get three options. I can build an empty set list, I can build one based on the current pages that I have, or I can build a custom one. If I tap the pages button on this list, it's going to have a look at every single page across my console. And if I've got something programmed into it, it's going to put this into a set list. This is perfect for me as I've already programmed the first bit of my show. So I'm going to tap pages. Now you can see it's had a look throughout my whole console, console and it's found that I have things programmed on three pages. Now, if my band turned around to me and said, oh yeah, what well, the song we normally play second, we're actually gonna play third. This would mean I'd have to move all of these playbacks onto page four, move everything from page three to page two, everything from page four then to page three. In set list, I can use my copy, move and delete buttons as much as I want. If I tap move and select song three, I can move it up here. Now, as soon as I press play on any one of these tracks, it's going to deliver all of those playbacks directly to me. You can see as I press play there, those playbacks are changing. In the context menu, which on a console will be in this space on the right hand side of your console screen, or on this Type 1 interface, it's in this little series of dotted lines, I can edit tracks, I can make a new list, I can edit notes that I have on here as well. You can see at the moment my page mode is currently normal. If I change it to set list, then just the tracks that are on my set list are going to be displayed on my pages view. If you're ever jumping in between using a set list and using not, not using a set list, remember that you can change the page mode. In this context menu, I can also park a track. Say the band aren't playing song three today. I can park it out of the way. It's now not got a play symbol. If I go to live tracks on the bottom of the console screen, you can see it's not showing that song three. If I go to park tracks, then you can see that song three is there, but it still doesn't have a play button. As soon as I want to use it again, I can tap unpark track and it's going to go back into that set list exactly where it was. If I build, if I add an empty set list and name it one, two, three, then I can even move tracks from one set list to another. All I need to do is tap move, select that song and select where I'd like it to move to. Now you can see in this new set list I've created, I just have song three. In these set lists as well, you can add custom workspaces or you can add custom macros. You can also type in any notes on the right hand side there to save you having lots of paperwork at control. If I move this track back to that set list, it's a nice easy process. Say I want to add myself a custom workspace for song three because I always want to get access to my colors window for example. If I tap this button on the bottom right hand side that's got a little diagram of a workspace and a plus symbol, I can move and manipulate my windows however I'd like. Maybe make that smaller, 
maybe put my colors window across this whole right hand side done i'm happy with that and on soft key a i've got record workspace now if i make my set list full screen again as you can see i press play on song one and song two and this set list is still full screen as soon as i press play on song three it's automated that process of me shifting some workspaces around for me. You can add a macro or a workspace into any track on a set list. Say, any time I work with song one, I always want my set list to be at the top half of the screen. I can tap this symbol. I can manipulate my windows however I choose. I can then, as soon as I'm happy, tap record workspace. Now song two. It's not going to do anything. Song three is going to move those windows. And song one is going to put those, that window up there. Thanks for watching with this. Tune into the next one.